Hi there, beautiful people. I'm back. I want to make this video. I had watched a video earlier today about DNA testing. And I just want to ex share my experience. A few years ago, it's after my mom had passed away. I was like, Mom, what's up in, on your side of the family? Oh, we're Portuguese and Cuban, Jew. Um, and I was like, oh, okay. Anything else? No, no. No. Mm -mm. Nah. That's it. Yeah. I was like, wow, Mom, you sure are dark. Oh, we don't talk about things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And my mom was. She was extremely dark. Very, very olive complected. And I look a lot like my mom. Okay, let me explain. I have a twin and a younger brother. They're very pale. Very pale. I'm the only one with some skin tone to me. My twin, very pale. My younger brother, very pale. And I was like, okay, after my mom had passed away, I was being nosy. I was being nosy. I wanted to find out exactly what was on my mom's side of the family. Now, I have a twin brother, and he's been wanting to get his DNA test done, too. So what I'm going to do for him is a gift. I'm going to go back through, this time, 23 and me For myself, let him do a DNA test for his self, and then I'm going to match him. My dad's side, I don't care about. They don't care about me, so. But my twin wants to know. So, I'm going to give him the gift of a DNA test. I want to do another one to update mine, but this time through 23 and me. Now, I was not shocked. A little surprised over my DNA test that I did a while back. It opened up some doors for me to set me on a quest to find out who my actual family members are. I'm I'm still trying to find out. Um Oh. Let me explain. I'm Spaniard, Portuguese, Cuban, Jew, black, and this much white in me from my mom's side. Now, I knew about the Portuguese and the Cuban Jew. I did not know about the Spaniard Jew. It is surprising for me that it's higher than what I had anticipated for the Hispanic Jew in me. I was really surprised in how high the percentage was for the black within me. It set me off on a quest and apparently my mom's mom's dad was black. He was a black Jew. I... He had a Hebrew name. I didn't realize it, that it actually came from his side, from, let me explain. 
My great-grandfather, his name was Lemuel Brown, black man. His father before him was also black. Along with his mother being a black Cuban Jew. His father before him, my great, great, great grandfather, lived in Kentucky. And apparently a 14 year old boy was hired to murder my great, great, great grandfather. The governor of Kentucky at that time had given this boy clemency for his crime. I understand. It was the times. I understand. Do I agree with it? No. But I understand. Apparently, his father before him, a great, 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 great grandfather, he, he was born in Virginia, black man. He was sold to a Colonel Smock of the Confederate Army. He had a plantation within Mercer County, Kentucky, the Smock Park Plantation, whatever you want to call it. And that's where my great, 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 great grandfather is buried. Now, I heard that years ago that it's not the Smock Farm anymore. It is called the Knight Farm now. Apparently, all the graves where the former slaves were buried was destroyed. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it just... How can I say? It set off a quest in me. It gave me a hunger to understand where my roots come from, who I am, who came before me. It's... It's hard when you come across information like that within your own family tree. And it's like, who murdered him? Who hired this 14-year-old boy to murder my great, great, great grandfather? Why? Why? Why was one of his sons sent out west after he was murdered? One of his sons, my uncle. I, okay, I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm not. And mm -mm. it was something that happened in Omaha, Nebraska in 1919. Look it up. But <sighs> okay, deep breath. But it just opened up some doors for me to understand where my family came from, why I look the way I do, for me to finally be able to get some answers to some questions I had since my mom's no longer living and she wouldn't tell me. She just wouldn't do it. She wouldn't. Mm -mm. There were some things that she refused to talk about. 
even up to her dying day, she was not going to talk about it, people. It's, it was something that was just swept up under the rug. She didn't talk about it. But let's talk, people. Let's talk. Get out there, do a DNA test. Start digging through some family history. I'm still digging. Now, like I said, my dad's side of the family, don't care. Don't care to know. Don't care. Could care less. It's my mom's side. Now, I gotta figure out, since I know about her mom's side, I gotta figure out about her dad's side of the family, too. I know that they were kosher butchers, but I'm still trying to figure out exactly where they came from, who was... It's just makes your mind just go, Ugh. can't retain any more information up on this. And da, 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 da. So, all right, beautiful people. Y'all come back now, you hear?